Hey guys, my name is Tom and welcome back to another devlog. In this one I fixed a couple issues, got super frustrated about my screenshot code not working with the post processing effects, and I finally got to work on a custom procedural skybox which was long overdue. The last two days have been relatively uninteresting. I've mostly been doing various tasks that needed doing, so unfortunately there isn't too much to talk about. However, I just managed to finally fix the issue where the capstan wasn't colliding with the player. I've known what the problem was for a little while now, but I hadn't actually tried to solve it until this evening. The one thing I still need to deal with is that when you jump on it, it spins you around to the lowest point because of the way the ship tilts. Sort of like those circular treadmill-like things you sometimes see on playgrounds. That probably doesn't make any sense, but I have no idea how else to describe them. It's now just before 10.30pm, and for the past two hours or so, I've been trying to make my screenshot system work properly in the new project. This was something I put together before I started making devlogs here on my channel, so I don't think I've talked about this before, but previously I had a nice bit of code which could take screenshots for me at pretty much any resolution I wanted. This was extremely useful because it allowed me to take a screenshot of the game by simply pressing a button. I didn't need the snipping tool and I didn't have to crop the image later on. I could arrange things to look exactly how I wanted in the editor, which obviously isn't possible in a build, and I could still get screenshots at full screen resolution or higher. Now, in Unity 2019.3, this all still works, but unfortunately the way I've been doing it doesn't include post-processing effects in the image. I only realized on Friday morning right before I was about to leave for the weekend, and I almost didn't get a screenshot for the previous devlog's thumbnail, which was a bit stressful. I have managed to find a solution which also renders post-processing effects, except that I can't seem to find a way of doing it which will allow me to set my desired resolution. Without that ability, most of the perks of having this functionality pretty much disappear, so I'd really like to get this working, but I'm going to continue tomorrow morning. It's nearly 4 o'clock now, and I've spent the last couple hours trying to get this screenshot thing working, with no luck. Most Google searches produced relatively useless results, although I did eventually find an old thread on the Unity forums in which several people mentioned that they had the exact same issue I was having. Unfortunately, nobody ever provided a solution there, so I decided to contribute all the alternatives I've tried. Maybe someone has found a workaround since then, but at the very least it'll make it clear that this was never fixed. This has actually been extremely frustrating, largely because according to the docs, the camera.render method is supposed to render everything, including post-processing effects, and yet it simply doesn't. Usually I can sit down and continue working at a problem until I sort it out, but in this case I don't think that will help. So originally my plan for today was to work on tomorrow's video, but that sort of went out the window when I turned on my computer this morning. A couple hours earlier, Danny uploaded a video and gave me a shoutout, and by the time I got online, we had passed 1000 subscribers. Instead of working on a video, I ended up answering YouTube comments and hanging out on Discord for most of the day, which was pretty awesome. I started making videos at the beginning of October, and since then the support from you guys has been absolutely amazing. I can't thank all of you enough for making this community what it is today. It's currently Monday evening, and today I started working on a custom procedural skybox shader. So far, I've got the sun in place, and it works with my day-night cycle code, which is great. I want the size of the sun to change based on how high it is in the sky, but I'm not entirely sure how to go about that yet, so tomorrow I might try and pick apart some of Unity's built-in procedural skybox shader. After that, I'd also like to make the moon visible in the sky and add some stars. Some clouds would be nice too, but I guess we'll see how far I get this week. I still don't know what to do about the whole screenshot problem, and as convenient as that functionality was, I'm going to leave it be. I'll definitely come back to it at some point, maybe even at the end of this week if I have time, but I just really need to focus on something else for a bit first. It's Tuesday evening, and I spent a large part of today playing around with a ton of different combinations of math formulas to get the skybox looking the way I want. I'm still a ways away from that, but it's slowly starting to get there. Of course I also ran into a healthy dose of issues, some of which led to some rather strange looking skies. It's currently a little after 4 in the afternoon, and yesterday and today have been a bit busy. I've continued tweaking a lot of values, and I experimented with a bunch of different colors for the various times of day, and so far I'm fairly happy with how things look. However, I have been looking at this for quite a while, so I'd really appreciate some input on the colors. I'm not going for a 100% realistic skybox, but if you've got any suggestions, please make sure to leave them in the comments below. The next step will be to add the moon, but I'll have to do that later this evening.
10pm now, and I finally added the moon to the skybox. The cutout sort of rotates around as the moon traverses the sky, which doesn't seem right, so that's something I'll have to keep playing around with. It might be easier to just use a texture to display the moon, although to prevent that from being stretched in weird ways, I might have to change the way the sky's UVs are laid out. I also haven't gotten around to adding any stars, so I might try to get that done this weekend. Using a texture would probably be the most straightforward way of doing it, but again, I'm not sure if that would require changing the UVs to prevent stretching. Using some sort of noise function might actually be easier, not to mention that a texture could result in a noticeably repetitive pattern, although using noise would also be more resource intensive. Anyways, tomorrow I'll just be editing, so I'm going to leave it there for this devlog. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and don't forget to let me know what you think of the skybox down in the comments section. There's also an invite link to the Discord server in the description if you're interested in joining the community there. And finally, if you'd like to join me on the rest of this development journey, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you're always notified when I upload another video. With that said, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you again next time.